Oh, back on. So you see Volume it. up. If you've ever been hungry on campus, then you've probably eaten at the on-campus food truck. It'll do in a pinch, but the food's just your standard sandwich with a red apple. Come on. But, however, in San Francisco, clever little entrepreneurs are taking Mobile Eats to the whole nother level. IDTV Zone, Eduardo Mancera has the story. The food scene in San Francisco and in other cities across the country has undergone a major change in recent years with the emergence of food trucks. Everybody's familiar with a sit-down restaurant experience. But perhaps you haven't tried amazing food out of a truck window. Food trucks are changing the way that people eat by taking the fine dining experience on the road. And if you haven't tried it for yourself yet, Off The Grid organizes mobile food markets all over the city every day of the week. Trust Truck is a favorite to many of the market goers. And inside the truck is where the real magic happens. Welcome to Tres. My name is Ismael Coronado. I'm Keith Poo. I'm James Greer. We make tacos, bacon wrapped hot dogs, whatever you like, all authentic Mexican food. We created the Trace food truck to also expand our business. Our food is inspired by the street food down in Jalisco. I like how the, the booming business and how there's so many different types of food and you can mix things. One of our signature dishes are the elote. It's shaved corn or you can have it on the cob. It comes with lime juice, chili, coita cheese. Um, some other things you can find on our menu that are really popular are the bacon wrapped hot dogs with jalapenos, grilled onions, and the chipotle mayo. First thing we have to do is uh, turn on all the hot stoves, the hot boxes, heat up all the food. Uh, some of the food is already, it's already hot, so when we put it on the truck, it stays hot um, from the stays hot from the restaurant. Everything is basically done at the restaurant. We just load it up here and organize it here. Um, the truck is so much easier. Everything's right here. You turn around, it's right here in front of you. you turn around, and everything's there for you. It's already. It's already ready to go. It's not just the food that draws people in. The brightly colored, dynamically designed trucks themselves help create a festive atmosphere, along with music and large crowds of people eating outside. It's hard to ignore that they liken to the food markets of Asia and Latin America. The signs here really touch an artist's heart, and I love the fact that they are all so personable, and each one is so unique to each business. The design of the Trace food truck was inspired by every Cinco de Mayo we have. To kick the day off, we set up a wrestling ring and invite a group of local legendary wrestlers to perform. It's become a fun tradition with the restaurant, so we wanted to showcase that on the road. I love food trucks. They're really rad. They're awesome. Super good food. So the food's really rad here too, but it's awesome to hear all the music and like grab a beer, listen to the different bands, hang out with your friends. So one of the things that is different about the food versus the food in the restaurant is that you can get it a little bit faster. Um, we also have tacos in the restaurant and on the truck. We have tortas, bacon wrapped hot dogs that are a little bit easier to serve on the go. Food trucks have upped the ante for on the go dining. Eating out will never be the same again. Karen, that burrito looks like heaven on earth. Girl, please tell me we can go get one of those right now. No, no, it has to wait. There's still more ID TV coming on. Oh my but God. I would love to see you snarf down one of those giant size empanadas, dude. I swear, I could eat the whole thing. I think you probably could, I'm just saying. Then maybe you'd fit into this shirt of yours. Oh, you. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'll get myself. 
<laughs> oh my god, it's back on. Let's let's watch. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what some of your friends, classmates, or roommates are thinking about you? Well, maybe you're going to find out that they have more in common than you think. Stay tuned as IDTV brings you Crossing the Line. Can you imagine leaving your home country to live for a year with five people you have never met? That is exactly what this group of six women have been doing. These women are part of the Fulbright Program at City College of San Francisco. The Fulbright Program is an international scholarship exchange program. As part of the program, the participants are provided housing that they will share with other Fulbright students. My name is Nindi. I'm from Indonesia. I've been here for eight months. My name is Anna. I am from Brazil and I have been here almost nine months now. Hi, my name is Rosie. I'm from Indonesia. Uh, and I have been living here for eight months. My name is Asari Rosmalina. I'm from Indonesia. My name is Marie Paul. I used to be called MP, which is it's simple, <laughs> and I'm from Ivory Coast, West Africa. In an effort to become closer and have a greater understanding of each other, these women have agreed to participate in a trust-building exercise called Crossing the Line. The rules of the game are simple. Everyone stands on one side of the room and faces the center. A facilitator will read out statements. Anyone who thinks the statement applies to them crosses to the other side of the room and turns back to look at the other people who did not cross. After a few moments, the participants all return to the starting positions and the next statement is read. The questions start out general and become more personal. These statements touch on cultural identity, self-esteem, sexual experiences, being affected by alcoholism and family issues. Though these women up until now have led separate lives, they find that they have a lot in common with each other. The goals of this activity include helping participants learn about themselves, allowing the community involved to appreciate its own diversity more, and to learn to treat each other like the diverse human beings we all are. We want to acknowledge and address those differences, but also bring to the surface other differences that we may not have recognized. I really like it because we're really different to each other even though four of us we're from Indonesia but Indonesia is big and we come from different ethnicity we totally speak different languages I kind of like this kind of stuff like meeting people from other places and discover their culture as well and it's just great I like it from now until the end like we have what 69 days <laughs> 69 days left we wow. should have a more family time, like sisters. It's crazy sometimes, actually most of the time, but it's been nice because um, we have always someone to talk and to be with, and we are never alone. It's good to have a, you know people to share in your life while you are away from your family. I am the principal worldwide evangelist for Adobe's Creative Cloud, focusing primarily on our video products. Well, we are here today at the Adobe San Francisco headquarters, uh, having a chat about creativity, Creative Cloud, products, applications, video, cameras, sun, desert, lots of things happening today. But that's what happens when you're around creative people. <laughs> 